What is going on YouTube? My name is Gouda and today is finally the day true freshman quarterback Eddie Rockets and the Michigan Wolverines are taking on the Ohio State Buckeyes. I have no idea what to expect going into this game. I believe we are at home, so that should be a nice advantage, but they are ranked number 10, and we haven't had our best year yet, so we're definitely not going to be projected to win this one. But whether or not we can pull off a miracle, we're about to find out. Real quick, we'll uh, take a look at the top 25 to get an idea of what's going on this season. We've got a lot of unbeatens and a lot of one-loss teams. Four unbeatens going into the final week of regular season play. UCF and Cincinnati, they're going to have to face off in the conference championship if they have one. I imagine there is one. But look at all these one-loss teams. All the way down to number 11, Ohio State. And any other ordinary year, Ohio State could even be number 1 at 10-1. and one. But they're number 11. Don't be fooled by that number 11 ranking. This game is going to be nuts. It's a beautiful day for some football late in November in Ann Arbor. You love to see it. Well, we get to see what we can do on offense first, if anything. We're going to roll out and take off a little bit here. Pick up 10 yards on the first play. Let's go. Third and three. We have to pick this up. Got to continue our first drive. Can't give it up this early. I got two black over the middle. First down. Took a big hit. He might not be getting up. I have a huge wide open field to run to. Get that block. Are you kidding me? That was broken up. I think they brought a lot of pressure there. Oh, whoa. I don't know how we avoided that sack, but it is what it is. At the 16-yard line, we really have to get this football in there. I have multiple guys open, but I got a couple blocks. Okay, 13 yards. I got ragdolled. Thought we were going to get in the end zone. Good run, nonetheless. Here it is. They're stacking the line. This is a little scary. He had an easy touchdown. I have to call it. We have to go for it on the inch line. We cannot settle for a field goal. I cannot leave that up to Harbaugh. Harbaugh would probably kick the thing. Get in there, Zach. Are you kidding me? Just run straight up. He had four downs to get two yards. Couldn't do it. It is borderline unbelievable that we came up short at the one-yard line. But luckily we got the ball back, decent field positioning, and a good block there with a hurdle for the six yard loss. Okay, some interesting football happened since we last seen the field. Not only did Ohio State score, but we got a pick six actually, so we are on the board. Ooh, wow, okay. That shouldn't have happened probably. wide open let's go huge gain a minute 30 left inside their 30 we need to get on the board here McEwen holds on to it I think that's first and goal it is I'm looking to get it in on this play and oh my goodness Nico had that football I thought for sure as a touchdown now we're looking at third and goal from the five with the slants play can we get it in yes we can Ronnie no he didn't even get hit he did not even get hit he just straight up dropped that football what is going on right now 10 to 7 us Ooh. Mm. The great news with that is they went ahead and scored real quick before halftime in the minute we gave them, as well as scored in the opening drive of the third quarter. So now we are down 21 to 10. And I completely missed a wide open Nico Collins. 
They are really pouring it on our defense now. 28 to 10. We have to score on this drive. We're moving the football. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're really moving the football. No. <gasps> Over his head. I had him open. I just couldn't believe it, but we made the we made it anyways. Charbonnet, come on. You have it at the two. Second and goal. This is so easy to punch it in. If you don't get it in, I don't know. He almost didn't. He ran all the way to try to not get it in, but we got it. The defense is not even going to give us a chance, sadly. Last four drives have been a touchdown for Ohio State. That isn't going to stop us from trying, though. Ooh, didn't really see that guy, but you know what? I'm throwing dots out here. I have a touchdown if I can hit it. Ronnie Bell, end zone, let's go. Okay, we're going for two. I don't even want to think about how this makes it a better game. It does make it only a 10-point game. So obviously that's how. We got it. Ronnie Bell holds on to it. 10-point game. You know what? They gave us the football back with a minute 59 to work with. We still have all of our timeouts as well. There's a chance. There's a huge chance. No way did they just leave that wide open. Three-point football game. I'm actually in disbelief that just happened. Our defense really needs to make a stand here. And they don't. They don't. I really thought we'd get the football back, at least with an Ohio State score, but they were able to just run it out. You see it on all of the Michigan fans' faces. Wow. What a game. J.K. Dobbins has an insane game, of course. Michigan walking off in sadness once again. Another year. Look at this game, though. 21 completions out of 29 attempts for 330 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and I added on 43 rushing yards. Wow, this is this is mayhem, guys. We still have four unbeatens, and it looks like we're going to have at least three going into championship week. UCF, Cincinnati, they're unfortunately not going to be able to play each other. For whatever reason, American Conference does not have a championship game in NCAA 14. I think they do in real life. But yeah, it looks like Cincinnati is going to get screwed out of an opportunity there. Oklahoma big time, possibly. That's insane. They're passing up on Oklahoma over two American Conference teams. Ohio State finishes the season at 11-1 and and is 10th overall. Michigan State was 11-1 and and is 11th overall. And they're playing for the Big Ten Championship. Total mayhem. The unthinkable has happened, guys. Adrian Killens Jr., running back from UCF, took home the Heisman Trophy over Jan Hurts and DeAndre Swift. Trevor Lawrence made a late run at it, got fourth. Oh, we're doing that for sure. Look at that, up three speed. We're 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 83 overall. And look at that, even better. 92 throw power, 85 overall. We're going into the next year gunslinging. Clemson and UCF were facing off for the championship. 12-0 UCF Knights did not have to face 12-0 Cincinnati Bearcats from the same conference. They didn't have a conference championship game. Cincinnati got screwed. Oklahoma went undefeated and did not jump UCF or Cincinnati. Crazy. 12-1 Alabama at number five. You'll never see that happen. Ohio State is 11-1 and they were number nine. Like, all of these teams are huge schools, and they all went 11-1. That's just insane year. Michigan State finished 12-1, just won the Big Ten, and they're number 11. Who did they even lose to? They went 9-0 and in the division. They lost at number 8, Notre Dame, by 10 points, and then had a great season for their whole rest of the year. Didn't play Ohio State, though, I see. 
two maize and blue teams face off in the battle of maize and blue. We pulled West Virginia. And the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl. Perfect. Makes me want some B-dubs. We're, of course, not going to see the field because we lost the position battles. Except for the kicks, of course. Besides for these kicks. Whoa. That lineman just got killed into me. Wow. Oh. Oh my god, this is for the game. We choked this on away. I can't believe we even have a chance at a game-winning field goal. Can we hit it? Jake Moody's got ice in his veins, man. That's gamer. Well, he did fine without us. Guys, I just had to look at the bull results. Clemson sneaks out a classic against UCF 14 to 9. Cincinnati got blown out by Mississippi State. Good thing they didn't make the championship. Oklahoma also got blown out. Look at all of these insane games. Michigan State dominates in the Rose Bowl and has a 13 and 1 season and ended number 8. Ohio State actually lost in the Outback Bowl. Ohio State went 11 and 1 and went to the Outback Bowl. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for season 1 as well as this episode. I think I'm going to take a bit of a break from this series depending on how this video does. So if you want to see more of this, let me hear some support down in the comments section. But I've got some other things that I'm going to be working on. So this is going to get pushed aside for a while. I just really wanted to play through the end of season 1 at least and be ready to take over the team for whenever I revive this series. But yeah, guys, I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, I encourage you to subscribe. But other than that, everybody, have a great day. Peace.